Welcome back to another video. This is Industrialist, a new game. Roblox is pretty cool. It's kind of hard to figure out how to play the game. I guess I took a while for me to learn. Because Industrialist game mechanics are quite confusing at first, I will teach you how to uh, do it. First, you're going to want to place down your coal uh, generator and uh, just place it on one of these black areas on the map, like right here. These are where coal, oil, and gas and the other and can be extracted from. And then you're going to want to place a cell area or a truck depot somewhere. Uh, I suggest somewhere off the coal area because uh, you want to place as many as you can probably. Place one there. Okay, and uh, now you make sure they're near each other because uh, you probably only have like 100 or 200 dollars. Although you do get some parts for at the start of the game for free. Yeah, like one or two. Next, you're going to want to get out a pipe, specifically a pipe. Do not want to get out a fluid pipe because, yeah. Uh, if it has a square, this is this means you'll need a normal pipe. If it has a circle later, then you're going to need a circle pipe, a uh, fluid pipe, which is circular. -like. Okay, now you're going to want to connect that up with the piping. You're going to want to get a pipe turn, make sure that they all connect to each other. Then you're going to pull out the fluid pipe, the third one, right here. And you're going to want to connect this up to the, uh, to it. And this, this, make sure the pipe just makes it all the way to the depot. So this is gotta be connecting to this. At least in this gotta be connected to this. It has to make a purple pack. Uh, it also can't go reversed. And you're gonna wanna get a solar panel. Uh track this down. Place it somewhere in here so you don't have to get a uh, low voltage um so you don't have to get one that pulls out. You're gonna want to connect right here to the power node. But that should start working, and then you should start uh, getting some coal. Okay. Let's make sure it's working, it looks like. Yeah, it is working. If it's working, you'll start getting units of coal in here. Yeah, yeah, we have a truck. And it's automatically on to auto sell, which means uh, as soon as this fills up to 30, it will sell. And that's how you play the game, basically. Now, the next step in progression after setting up your basic setup in Industrialist will be to make a coal plant. You'll have to first research two things. That'd be the uh, coal plant itself and the ground pump first. After doing that, you want to place your coal generator or a power plant. No, generator, bruh. Um, then you're gonna want to place it around yourself. We're gonna delete that. I'll place it somewhere else.
probably want your um Okay, next, we're going to want to connect it, uh, the square pipe, that, uh, of the, um, of the coal plant to, um, to the coal plant itself. You're also going to want to connect this section to this pipe area um so we can receive coal too we'll have to do this with every item or every pipe basically it's really annoying but because it most often doesn't auto connect it can but usually doesn't so yeah next you're going to want to get your ground pump and specifically where there's sand you know uh at the uh Near water, usually these sandy areas, including here, even can is where groundwater is, and this is where the groundwater pump can uh, receive groundwater, or otherwise it won't allow you to place it. Actually, and don't do it on top of water; it won't allow you. Anyways, I'm just gonna place it as close as possible to me. Next, you want to go ahead and get specifically fluid pipes second pipe and then you're going to want to take a bunch of them and you're going to want to you bring it to the uh, coal plant I guess you could do any pipe beyond the straight one for this but uh, which is kind of nice for when you don't want to do the entire process of deleting it and then replacing it with a new pipe in case you need to connect it uh, to something else to it of course, you're gonna want again connect this specifically there. The turnpipes often don't auto connect, so you're just gonna want to do it for it. And then here, this is an output, which means you're gonna the output to the pipe. And anyways, the thing didn't work for another 10 minutes because there was no sunlight and there was rain, and so the thing couldn't get any power to the water pump to start working so we can get some energy into the coal plant so we can start powering thing powering everything else there's a little annoying now that we have gone over the basics on how to play the game we will be continuing my playthrough on my other world Don't worry about deleting items as they will not give you money back, but you'll they'll be placed in your inventory again. Research station only requires energy to gain research points. Research points can be later used to buy new buildings. Steam turbines can be placed after coal power plants with their steam output to gain a little more energy. That right there is the pollution level meter. It tells you the amount of pollution in your world. 
although it requires a lot of power to run. Now I decided to skip to the end because nothing else really happened other than my ravenous power issues, so I'll fix that in the next episode.